Hi, my name is Sean Cavanis and I'm a graduate assistant track and field coach at Smith College in Northampton, Massachusetts. Today we're going to be talking about lactic acid and hydrogen ion accumulation in the muscle cells as a result of anaerobic glycolysis. In track and field, the sprinting events include the 60 meter dash, 100 meter dash, 200 meter dash, 400 meter dash, and at the elite level, the 800 meter dash. Because anaerobic glycolysis does not start until about 12 to 15 seconds into anaerobic activity, the 60 meter and 100 meter dash are fueled almost entirely by the phosphocreatine system and will not be included in this because the 60 meter dash takes about 7 seconds to complete and the 100 meter dash takes about 12 seconds to complete. During anaerobic glycolysis, stored muscle glycogen gets turned into glucose, which is then turned into ATP for use. Four ATP molecules are created, two of which are used during the process, and two of which are used for a net gain in the body. As a result of the ATP production, hydrogen ion and pyruvate are created. When these two molecules combine, it creates lactate, which is then removed from the muscle cell. There is a general misunderstanding of lactate and its role in the body. When lactate is produced by pyruvate and hydrogen ions, it leaves the muscle cells for oxidation or to go to the liver for gluconeogenesis. Lactate actually doesn't cause the burning sensation we feel at the end of a 200 or even in the 400 meter. It is the accumulation of hydrogen ions that leads to overly acidic muscle cells known as acidosis. In closing, we want to remember that lactate is our friend and hydrogen ions are what are responsible for causing acidosis in the muscle cells, which causes the burn at the end of our 400 meter race. Thank you.